Men disguised as police attempt to steal sphere-shaped UFO after new information is revealed. Have you guys been tracking the story of the Booga Sphere? My, my assessment of this is pending, but it's certainly real. It's using an energy field and what we probably would say is electrogravitic, which means a type of anti-gravity effect from the electromagnetic forces. And whether it is a purely extraterrestrial origin or a mix of an ancient human extraterrestrial development, there are four or five possibilities. A second object has just been discovered inside the mysterious sphere of Booga. But here's the part no one's talking about. It's denser, colder, and possibly engineered to hide something far more complex. High-resolution CT scans revealed what looks like a hidden core, an object within the object, shielded by multiple layers of engineered alloy. In this video, we'll show you the latest findings, why this core could rewrite what we think we know about covert technology, and why experts are now calling for an international investigation. What crashed in that Colombian field wasn't just a metal ball. The sphere's internal structure is unlike anything scientists expected to find. Three concentric shells surrounding a central mass that defies explanation. The questions are stacking up. What is this core made of? Who created it? And most importantly, what is its purpose? Sources close to the scan operation reportedly told regional media that portions of the CT imaging were redacted before being shared with local academics. This raises immediate questions about what might have been visible in those missing sections. There are now unconfirmed reports that defense officials from Colombia and Brazil visited the lab in private, raising questions about military interest in what was initially dismissed as ordinary debris. Preliminary X-ray fluorescence suggests the sphere may contain trace rare earth isotopes not commonly found in Colombian industrial materials. These unusual elemental signatures have prompted metallurgists to take a closer look at the sphere's composition and the outer microspheres. They appear symmetrically arranged around the core, something you'd expect from intentional engineering, not random debris. The precision placement of these tiny spherical objects suggests deliberate design rather than coincidence. The CT scans revealed something that caught investigators off guard. The internal structure shows evidence of manufacturing techniques that would be extremely difficult to replicate with conventional methods. What technology could create such seamless, multi-layered construction? Now that we know there's a concealed object inside the Booga sphere, the question becomes, what exactly is this hidden core designed to do? Let's break down the three most plausible explanations being discussed by engineers and material scientists. First, the dense core might act as a gyroscopic counterweight, stabilizing the sphere during high-speed travel. This would explain the perfect symmetry of the internal components, a necessity if the sphere was designed to maintain orientation while moving through air, water, or even more, extreme environments. Second, the sphere could be a compact probe, and this core could house sensors or even encrypted memory. The unusual cold temperature reported by those who touched it initially could be consistent with advanced electronics or data storage technology. Third, one theory points to an embedded capacitor or early-gen power cell, explaining the strange energy readings. If true, this would suggest the sphere wasn't just passive debris, but potentially an active device with its own power supply. What do you think the hidden core was built for? Let us know in the comments before we show you what researchers believe they've found. If you're finding this analysis fascinating, Hit that subscribe button now to stay updated on developments with the Bugosphere and other unexplained technological discoveries. The most compelling evidence comes from comparing the sphere's construction to known technologies. While the outer shell resembles conventional metallurgy, the inner layers show properties that don't match standard industrial manufacturing processes. The question isn't just what's inside, but how it was made in the first place. 
Adding another layer to this enigma, a neural network trained on proto-writing systems found partial symbol overlap with pre-Columbian glyphs found at San Agustin archaeological sites. While researchers caution against jumping to conclusions, the AI analysis suggests the markings on the sphere's surface follow syntactic patterns similar to an actual writing system, not random decorative etching. And this isn't the first time. In 1974, the Betz sphere sparked similar questions until it was identified as industrial scrap. But unlike the Betz object, the Bugar sphere's layered internals and unearthly inscriptions tell a different story. The Betz sphere contained only a hollow interior with no complex internal architecture, while what we're seeing inside the Bugar sphere defies conventional explanation. The Colombian Meteorological Service initially logged unusual electromagnetic fluctuations in the region where the sphere was discovered. These readings coincided precisely with eyewitness reports of the object's descent, an anomaly that hasn't been adequately explained by conventional atmospheric phenomena. But the next part is even stranger, how the authorities reacted after the scans went public. After the initial findings were released, there was an unexpected shift in official statements. First, local officials called it unidentified debris, then quickly pivoted to suggesting it was likely space junk before laboratory analysis was even complete. This rapid reframing raised eyebrows among independent researchers tracking the case. Initially, the Air Force denied involvement but leaked flight data shows an unregistered helicopter in the area the night after recovery. When pressed for comment, military officials simply stated it was routine training, despite no scheduled exercises appearing in public flight logs for that date. The contradictions don't end there. While the official stance categorized the sphere as non-hazardous, hazmat teams were photographed at the recovery site wearing Level B protection gear a precaution typically reserved for unknown biological or radiological threats. Locals reported flickering electronics, and one nearby farmer claimed his compass spun wildly as he approached the field. Three separate witnesses described how their cell phones malfunctioned within 50 meters of where the sphere landed, only to return to normal function once they moved away from the area. A meteorologist from Bogota, noted unusual atmospheric readings in the region during the 48 hours surrounding the incident. The data showed brief but significant electromagnetic disturbances that don't align with known weather patterns or solar activity. And now, foreign labs want in, because if this object is what some fear it is, it may not have been built on Earth. Scientists from three continents have requested access to the sphere for independent analysis. Their interest lies particularly in the manufacturing techniques that would be required to create such a seamless, multi-layered object with no visible welds or joints, a feat that challenges current industrial capabilities. This mysterious sphere has now caught the attention of prominent research institutions worldwide. Labs in Germany, Japan and South Korea have formally requested access to conduct their own analyses, signaling that this is no ordinary discovery. The University of Tokyo's Advanced Materials Science Department has offered to perform neutron diffraction testing, a technique that can reveal internal crystal structures without damaging the object. Meanwhile, CERN researchers have proposed using their particle accelerators' advanced imaging systems to map the sphere's composition down to the atomic level. Upcoming spectroscopy and isotopic testing could reveal the object's age and origin. These tests will determine whether the materials come from known industrial sources or if they contain isotopic ratios inconsistent with Earth-manufactured alloys. Dr. Avi Loeb from Harvard, known for his work on interstellar objects, commented, If it truly exhibits engineered symmetry and layered shielding, this deserves deeper analysis. The internal structure alone warrants serious scientific investigation. No one is claiming aliens, but the artifact clearly doesn't behave like anything we've documented before. 
The combination of unusual material properties, internal complexity, and surface engravings places this object outside conventional categories of space debris or industrial waste. What makes this particularly compelling is the timing. The sphere appeared just weeks after several countries reported tracking an unidentified high-altitude object that seemingly disappeared from radar over South America, a coincidence that has prompted speculation about a connection. Let's quickly recap the timeline and known facts for those who may have missed earlier coverage of this story. On March 2, 2025, residents of Buga, Colombia, witnessed a metallic sphere descending from the sky before crash landing in a nearby field. Local farmers recovered the object, which weighs approximately 4.5 pounds and was noticeably cold to the touch, colder than ambient temperature, even hours after discovery. The sphere's surface is remarkably smooth with no visible joints or welds, making it appear as if it was cast as a single piece. Strange engravings cover portions of its exterior, resembling some form of script or symbolic language that doesn't match known modern alphabets. Initial X-ray imaging revealed the sphere's complex internal structure, three concentric metal shells surrounding either nine or 18 microspheres, reports vary, arranged symmetrically around a dense central core. This sophisticated internal architecture immediately ruled out simple explanations like a hollow ball bearing or industrial component. Advanced industrial CT scanning technology played a crucial role in this investigation. These systems, which take hundreds of X-ray slices from different angles, allowed researchers to construct detailed three-dimensional models of the sphere's interior without cutting it open. High-end CT systems can resolve features smaller than a micron, even inside dense metal objects. This isn't the first mysterious sphere to capture public attention. The Betts Sphere, discovered in Florida in 1974, generated similar speculation until Navy investigators identified it as a stainless steel ball bearing from a check valve. Other metallic spheres have fallen in Spain, Vietnam, and Peru over the past decade, most eventually traced to space debris or industrial origins. But unlike these previous cases, the Buga sphere's complex internal structure, unusual surface markings, and the reported electromagnetic anomalies surrounding its appearance set it apart from conventional explanations. So far, we know the sphere of Buga is real. It is unlike anything local scientists have ever analyzed. It's layered, it's sealed, and it's hiding something. The evidence points to a manufactured object with deliberate internal architecture that serves some specific purpose, though that purpose remains elusive. What we've learned raises more questions than answers. The symmetrical arrangement of microspheres around a dense core suggests precision engineering, the strange surface engravings appear to follow linguistic patterns. The reports of electronic interference hint at unusual properties. And the international scientific interest confirms this is no ordinary find. As testing continues, we may soon learn whether the sphere's composition includes isotopes consistent with Earth-based manufacturing or something more unusual. The upcoming metallurgical analysis could reveal manufacturing techniques that either confirm or challenge our understanding of current technological capabilities. Is this a rogue piece of surveillance tech? A Cold War relic? Or is it something entirely new? One thing is clear. The world is watching. Whatever the Bugasphere turns out to 